Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Um, just going to show you another quick tutorial on widening vocals in Cubase. Um, so, as you can hear, um, I have a single mono track with a vocal on. I shall just play that for you. Pretty straightforward. Um, what we'll do is I'll create two audio tracks, um, mono, call this M1, M2, I shall copy the vocal onto it, onto each one. Now we'll pan this one hard left and we shall pan this one hard right. Now I'll just bounce each selection, bounce selection, replace, bounce selection, replace. This now treats these as two separate audio files. Um, the reason for this is this one I'm going to fine tune. Um, I'll do that 12. And this one I shall fine tune down 12. Now, if we listen to those two, much more stereo width instantly. So we've got two mono vocals currently one pan hard left, one pan hard right, um, one tuned up. 12 cents and another one tuned down 12 cents now on this second one also um, using this we shall shift it by a few milliseconds let's try 20 listen again again a much more pronounced stereo effect um, really handy way to to get the vocals sounding a bit wider maybe in the chorus so let's just put these in a folder right click add folder track we'll call that stereo vox I shall move those into the folder so now let's solo the original bang in the center of the mix pretty boring there's a stereo one And that's that's pretty much it for stereo width on the vocals. Um, there is other ways of doing this um, with plugins. For instance, um, if we solo solo the mono one, and on the inserts, let's put a stereo delay. Uh, turn everything off on h1 uh, pan one hard left pan one hard right we'll put the mix up to a hundred on h and we'll turn the sync off turn that one down to none and we shall put the delay same as we did on the stereo one to 20 on that one And that is is pretty much it. I personally prefer this second method, or sorry, the the first method of um, two separate tracks allows for more manipulation. I could then, for instance, press F4, uh, create a group. Let's add a group. We'll add a stereo group, and we'll call this vocal chorus. And if we open our mixer, and what I would do would be to send those channels to the stereo group. And then, for instance, we can apply more effects there. So let's have a reverb.
and there you go that's a, it's a nice way of um, creating a group channel for your vocals creating a little bit more stereo width in the vocals making them sound a bit more polished a bit more professional um, and that's it I hope this tutorial has helped uh, for more information please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions as per usual get in touch don't forget you can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook till next time bye bye